Good evening. Welcome to ORP TV News. Coming to you live on this Sunday, July 10th. We're coming to you from the JK Auto Repair Studio. Of course, JK Auto Repair is a full service car care provider located in Ozark, Missouri. John King and Zach Jones, great dudes. 2301 Selmore Road. You can give them a call at 581-2004 to schedule your uh, service or appointment. This is the All Parts Auto Salvage and Jesse James Junction RV Park Weekend Wrap-Up, All Parts Auto Salvage, 2600 North Benton, where they have everything you need to fix your car. Let All Parts Auto Salvage help you fix your car. And of course, the Jesse James Junction, Omaha, Arkansas. Krista and Alton are all the time posting new photos from there, and that place just keeps looking better. It's looking more like if you used to go to Branson in the 80s and there was the uh, resorts that you would go to. This is more of a resort than an RV park. It's not at all what you're thinking of. So if you're traveling through the Ozarks with a mobile home or an RV or just want to get away, this is a beautiful place to go to and I highly, highly recommend it. And 4T Racing Oil from uh, Wesley Men's House and Amsoil of Springfield, who by the way also now has the Recon Racing Fuel We'll be telling you all more about that on Wednesday. I just simply have been sleeping most of the day today and kind of failed on that one. But racing oil, they've got the 4T racing oil for competition engines. You can get a case of it for 148. That's 12 quarts or three gallons. And of course, if you'd like to be an independent dealer at your track or your store, Wesley Men's House can make that happen. And uh, he's got so many good things going on over there. He's just, uh, he's killing it, I tell you. Want to thank our sponsors, JK's All Parts, Jesse James, Wesley Men's House, Down to Earth Lawn and Landscaping. Man, you need that because it is drier than uh, all get out out there. You definitely need some help with that. Hillbilly Speedway, Hodges Tree Trimming, Home Sweet Home Realty, the AAA Racing Show. That's on YouTube, but you can find it on Facebook under Austin Aziz Racing, and I love that kid and that family. Team Aziz, Titans of 10-5, where we're going to be kicking things off in just a second. Sigs and Swigs, Mad of Ministry, MKRA Midwest Kart Racing Association, Twister Alley Raceway, DTA Bear Paws and Gloves, Missouri Motocross Hall of Fame, and ICWF Pro Wrestling, and Top Rope Television. This first little bit, I was just thinking about a second ago. I appreciate you all hanging with me. These sponsors are what make everything go. This gives me the gas money to make it to the events, to get shirts going, to do everything. So we've got to give our shout outs to them and tell them thank you. And it gives Heather and my mom a chance to say back and forth hello to each other uh, during all that time and get all the uh, pleasantries out of the way. So about the time they're done, then I'm done with this and then we can move on. It always makes me giggle and I love it. Howler's Head Banana Bourbon Whiskey from UFC President Dana White. Uh, good stuff. You can get it at uh, locations around you. We're brand ambassadors. Titans at 10 5 Series. I'm happy to see Larry Hunt on here. That means he made it home safe and sound too. Uh, great event yesterday. This was really a bucket list kind of thing for me to get to sit uh, well, with Larry, but also to sit in the announcer's booth at a facility that has the uh, history that Tulsa Raceway Park does. Just an absolute world-class facility. Uh, the people there, the staff that we met, uh, Jim and Sammy, who sat there with us, she was amazing. I believe it was Brenda in the running the water box, Stretch running the uh, lights, and of course, Larry Hunt, Al Schoenwetter, and Paul Hedden all did a fantastic job. It made it for a great experience. So Titans at 10-5 series. We were at Tulsa Raceway Park. Outlaw 10-5, he uh, just lit it up. I tell you what, the Outlaw 10-5, and that should be 10-5, not 1.5. That would be a skinny tire. That'd be one of them old 10-speed tires, wouldn't it? 10-5, it got down to Devin Moore and Crave, uh, Devin uh Devin Irvin and, um, not Devin Irvin, but Craven Moore takes the win there. I told you, I am just tuckered out. <laughs> and uh, this was an amazing race. Craven Moore takes the win. We have the full run sheets uh, on our page here. Outlaw 8-5 West Choate. He was on rails last night. He was tearing it up. 
absolutely flying. These guys were running 150, 160. Uh, unbelievable. I think we even saw 171 miles per hour. 5.5 index, Paul Bridgewater. Lee Markham takes the no box class. Tom Sport, uh, Tom. Top sportsman, Benny Ammons. Motorcycle class, Jeff Downing. Hunter Kendall takes the 6.5 index. And Katie Spanik from Junior Dragsters from uh, Limo Land. I tell you what, they had the substitute there. The uh, bad grandpa was there. They need a cool nickname for Katie's vehicle they should do some sort of like weird rap for it and uh give her let it have an identity because i'll tell you what she carried the team last night with taking the win uh it was a fantastic night of racing everyone who came out to it had a great time the facility there is amazing um the dirt track tulsa speedway and tulsa raceway park are all right there together if you haven't been to it you need to put that on your list because it was beautiful and thank you again uh, to Larry and Al and Paul and all the people at Tulsa Raceway Park for making that a fantastic event. Superstar Racing Experience. This is the Ray Everham tony Stewart uh, joint venture. They had moved to Nashville this week. This was the one they were doing fan votes for races all along coming up here. And of course, we uh, just were begging and pleading for you to vote for Cole Williams, and you all did. He got the fan vote and got to race alongside. We talked about earlier in the week some of the people that were going to be there. Tony Kanaan and Elio Castor-Nevis and uh, Biffle and Newman and, uh, of course, Tony Stewart. All kinds of big-time racers. Well, Cole Williams had one of the fastest times of the day, and I believe he even won one of the heats. Uh, but in the end... Bobby Labonte takes the win. Marco Andretti second. Matt Kenseth third. Paul Tracy fourth. Elio Castroneves fifth. Ryan Newman sixth. Joseph Newgarden seventh. Michael Waltrip eighth. Greg Biffle nine. Ryan Hunter Ray tenth. Tony Stewart eleventh. Cole Williams twelfth. And thirteenth was Tony Kanaan. Now Cole Williams did have a wreck in this. <laughs> <laughs> that he still does, Larry. He still really does. Um, Cole Williams had a big wreck in this. I couldn't find footage of it uh, to show you, but I know that he was injured. He went to the hospital, uh, broke his collarbone, but uh, he's going to have some sort of scar. He's going to have a story. Hopefully, he got everything he could autographed by these characters. And, uh, you know... Um, even Tony Stewart. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'd get Tony to autograph a straw because, you know, what do you do with a straw? They suck. Anyway, I'm just saying that for Larry Hunt's benefit because he had me laughing all last night uh, talking about that. But a great, great time for Cole Williams. So excited for him that he got to be part of this. And hopefully, uh, maybe we'll see him again in another one of these races. Uh, Cole, hope you get feeling better on that uh, collarbone. And uh, we'll have to catch up again soon and talk about the behind the scenes of this event. Twister Alley Raceway last night. Boy, did they have some great racing. I think over 100 carts again. Now this here, let me tell you. I got a message from Summer Aziz. She sent me a message and said that one of the boys had a hard wreck. So let's take a look at this here. Now what you want to watch is this cart right here, the number 48. Boom! That is uh, that is not what you want to see. Let me zoom in here a little bit on it and we're going to go back and show you a little closer there. Here, So you have the one cart get turned around right here and as he backs up here comes Austin, and I don't know what he what caused that front end to stop, but he went from full speed to no speed, and uh, that's not the position you want to be in. You never want to be on the racetrack and be standing vertical like this in your cart. That's uh, that's pretty rough for sure. So he went down a uh, little bit thrown from the cart there, but you know what? He was fine. And why was he fine? Because he had an ORP TV decal on his cart. No, that wasn't it. But he was wearing his safety equipment 
and that's why he's safe, and that's why he's uh, going to go to school tomorrow with a good story. Ah, that little turkey has Mondays off. I forgot about that. That's why he does his show on Mondays. Well, when he gets to school on Tuesday, he'll have a good story, and hopefully this video to show. But I'm going to show it to you again here, full speed. That's a, that's a heavy hit, so I'm glad that my buddy is okay. There we go, our results for Twister Alley Raceway from last night brought to you by Midwest Kart Racing Association. Bryce Rollin takes the rookie, Keaton Purvis, Jr. 1, Blaine Kendall, Jr. 2, Cole Fry, Jr. 3, Zachary Evans doubles up on the clone 300 and 350, Max Compton in the stock appearing, Open, man, I'm so glad to see she moved up classes and she had, I believe this was her first win in the Open, Jaden Davis. Caden Messerly in the Predator Light, Jason Harmon in the Predator Medium, Richie Elbert in the Predator Heavy. The Southwest Missouri Quarter Midget Association, Landon Harrell takes the rookies. Caden Taylor in the Senior in the 160 class goes to Eli Muhlenberg. Now they did race at E3 on Friday night. Uh, if I'm able to get those results, I will get those shared to you. Moke and Dragway. Yesterday, sportsman class, Zach Klein takes the win, Tucker Thies in the junior mod, Blake Johnson, junior competition, Jim Klein in the no E, and super pro, Andrew Goss. Now, getting over to our circle tracks, results brought to you, and, and our drag strip results are brought to you by Jesse James Junction, by the way, the RV park there in Omaha, Arkansas. Circle tracks brought to you by Wesley Men's House Independent, Amsoil um, Dealer, techunlimited.info at Gmail. Circle Track, Callaway Raceway, Friday night. Dustin Hodges takes the USRA Modified. Josh Clark in the Tuner class. 305 Sprints Weaned. It goes to J uh, Jake Hinder. The Dirt Late Model, Dylan Hoover. Butler, Electric City Speedway, Friday night. Sport Compact, Eric Schmidt. Shadron Turner with another win in the USRA B Mod. Stock Cars, Jason Estes. Alex Crawford in the Power Eye Pure Stock. Devin Irvin in the Power Eye Super Stock and Jeff Dowdy. Man, that guy, this has been, this is his best year. He is absolutely lighting it up. And uh, whatever is going, he's got it figured out. Power Eye Midwest Mod, Jeff Dowdy. Humboldt Speedway Friday night. Gabe Hodges takes the USRA B Mod. Midwest Mod goes to Jacob Hall. Derek Wilson in the Factory Stock. Devin Schmidt in the USRA Tuner Class. And the ARMI USRA Modified goes to Tad Davis, Lakeside Speedway, Friday night, Pure Stock, Chase Galvin, Stephen McCarr in the E-Mod, Tim Powell in the B-Mod, USRA Modified goes to Nick Bidinger, and Chad Clancy in the USRA Stock Car Class. Lebanon Midway Speedway, Chris Jackson, I don't know if he's lost a race this year there in that USRA B-Mod class, takes another win. The USRA Stock Cars goes to Brian White, Sean Whitman in the Dirt Late Model, Power Eye Midwest Mod Derek Davis, Jacob White in the Pure Stock, Super Stock goes to Donnie Miller, and USRA Tuners goes to Brandon Vigno. Salina Speedway, Salina, Kansas, IMCA Modified, Stephen Bowers Jr. This may be one of his first wins of the year. This is uh, so good to see him back in the winner's circle. IMCA Northern Sports Mod goes to Tyler Watts, Jordan Grabowski in the IMCA Stock Cars, IMCA Hobby Stock goes to Nicholas Ronnebaum, and Justin Kinderneck takes the IMCA Mod Lights. Tulsa Speedway, this uh, Larry told me as we were sitting there, uh, matter of fact, he told me that uh, when they were there Friday, he could watch a little bit of the race and talk about the high banks over at Tulsa Speedway, just behind the announcer's tower and how awesome it was. Also, he did mention that on Friday, there was a couple uh, racers doing testing there, uh, NHRA's uh, Bo Butner and uh, one of the Coughlins uh, from Jeg's, Jeg Coughlin, I believe it was the son, uh, Coughlin, Troy Coughlin maybe, was there doing some testing, so I really missed out on that. I'd love to have met both of them. But Tulsa Speedway on Friday night, 305 sprints went to Hank Davis, Travis Johnson in the USRA B Mon, Factory Stock goes to Dustin Dixon, and Michael Longacre in the Mini Stock. Moving over to Saturday, 81 Speedway, Park City, Kansas, Tyler Davis in the Modifieds, Dakota Dale in the Rookie Mod, Jared Reimer in the Super Stock, Jace Reimer in the Mini Stock, so the family there had a good, good night. Stock car goes to Brandon Conkright. And I-35 Speedway in Winston, Missouri, USRA Modified, Tyler Hibner, 
Shadron Turner in the B Mod, Nick Haynes in the Stock Car Class, Pure Stock, Jake Starmer. The Midwest Limited Late Model goes to Shane Bailey, Blake Hayes in the E Mod, and Chris Lewis wins the Sports Compact. Lake Ozark Speedway, one of the just one of the finest tracks you can hit here in the Midwest. My buddy Kevin Grevin and his crew do a fantastic job there in Eldon. Sport Compact, Chris Lewis with the win. Jordan Martin takes the USRE B Mod. Power Eye Midwest Mod goes to Steve Muhlenberg. Richie Tosh in the Power Eye Super Stock. And Trevor Wilson in the Power Eye Pure Stock. Lucas Oil Speedway, Wheatland, Missouri. Saturday night, Justin Wells takes the late model. Terry Schultz in the USRE B Mod. The USRA stock car goes to Robert White and Dustin Hodges in the USRA modified class. Monette Raceway, it's going by both Monette Raceway and Monette Motor Speedway, so you may see it both ways, one, the other, or both. Uh, late model, Chuck Comer, Greg Woodcock takes the B Mod. A Mod goes to Aaron Scroggins. Clay Goodman takes the 50 lap Enduro class. The Power Eye Midwest Mod goes to Garrett Thompson. Brian Brown in the Power Eye Super Stock, and Landon McLaughlin in the Power Eye Pure Stock. And I see somebody's giving me some uh, uh, connection. I'll be sure and check that out after the show. Uh, I can't quite read who that was, but I will check that out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nevada Speedway. I, this is one of my favorite logos. I love that track badge they have there. Mini Stock goes to Robert Moore last night, Logan Smith in the B Mod, Devin Irvin in the Power Eye Super Stock. He had a couple wins this weekend. Chastity Younger takes the Lightning Sprints. Outlaw Four Cylinder goes to Mike Baxter. Sean Hendren in the Pure Stock. And Midwest Mod goes to Caden Bolin. Salina High Banks in Salina, Oklahoma. Modified Class, Jared Russell. John Potter takes the B Mod. Super Stock goes to Kyle Davis. Pure Stock, Jalen Hardbarger. Mitchell Wiseman takes the Trophy Class. And Factory Stock goes to Dale Richardson. Springfield Raceway. This one, they had a special event on Saturday night. This was the Jack Essery Memorial. USRE B Mod goes to Mark Wolf. Jim Greenway takes the IMCA A Mod. The Power Eye Midwest Mod B Class goes to Austin Harrell. The Legends, Trenton Simon. Mini Stock goes to Eric Clay. Delmar Mc... Michael Delmar McKnight takes the Power Eye Pure Stock. Elijah Keeper in the Power Eye Midwest Mod A Class. And a special in this here. I've got the photo of this one because this one was just really cool. The Mechanics Class, Kirsten Rubel. Now, Grayson McKinney and uh, Kirsten Rubel, Grayson posted this. Talk about signing up to race and scaring all the guys away to race for the Mechanics Race and completely dominating out there. Nice job, babe. And uh, <laughs> there she is. Uh, and we got, uh, oh, we even got the little girl. She's throwing up the rock and roll devil horns. Man, that looks that's a, that looks like a, a fun group there. And there's her official photo. So congratulations to Kirsten Rubel on taking the win in that in the mechanics race. That's a lot of fun. Good to see that. Mighty Tri-State Speedway in Pecola, Oklahoma. USRA Factory Stock Marshall Pinson. Ray Phipps in the USRA Stock Car, Dar Dalton Ragsdale in the USRA B Mod, Jake Davis in the USRA Modified, and Front Wheel Drive goes to Josh Jones. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. This was uh, on, at Southwick, Michigan. Again, this is the one that started on one channel, finished on another, just about like it does all season long during the outdoors. But the 450 class, Eli Tomac on that Yamaha just has really gotten it dialed in and uh, is winning consistently. Chase Sexton second and Aaron Plessinger third. And this is a look at them. There's Eli Tomac and Chase Sexton and Aaron Plessinger, the cowboy. And the 250 class, just it's not even close. Jet Lawrence with a 1-1 and the two motos, he is uh, dominating that. Joe Shimoda after last week's win with a second this week. That's great to see. And Justin Cooper rounds out your podium in the 250. And there's a look at him. There's little Joe Shimoda and Jet Lawrence and uh, Cooper. NASCAR Cup Series just wrapped up just a little while ago. And uh, Atlanta Motor Speedway Chase Elliott becomes the second Georgia-born driver to win in Atlanta. The other one being his dad. I don't know how many other Georgia-born drivers there are. I mean, I... There may be like 
three. I don't know, but they talked about it, so I guess it's a deal. Ross Chastain uh, crashed almost everybody, but no, nah, not everybody, but Denny Hamlin. He did put Denny Hamlin into the wall, and that's fine. I, I didn't mind that so much. And then Austin Sendrick rounds out your top three, but Chase Elliott takes the win. Looked like he was pretty happy. I wasn't sure they said that uh, his dad, Bill, and his mom were at home watching the race, and I wasn't real sure why. I don't know if they had some health issues, but uh, either way, yeah, whatever the reason is, I hope they're doing well, and I know they were excited to see their boy take the win. NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. This was on Saturday afternoon. This was a road course race from the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. Parkin Kligerman takes the win. Uh, he's definitely a road course guy because that's not one of the names you see up towards the top on a circle track. Uh, Zane Smith is second, Carson Hosever third, Ty Gibbs crashed out early, and one of the best runs of the season for uh, Haley Deegan, who finishes 10th, so a top 10 finish on the road course. You may remember uh, a couple last year, or maybe the year before, she had a pole position at a road course. Uh, she's, she's pretty good at those, so uh, a good finish for her, and good to see Parker Kligerman take the win. Xfinity Series was on yesterday, also from Atlanta. Austin Hill took the win, Josh Berry second, and Ryan Truex third. Now, I was a little late on getting this posted. I just found it a little while ago, but uh, Chris Darnell, the driver from Republic, Missouri, that uh, was tragically died last week, uh, 4th of July weekend, uh, up in Battle Creek, Michigan, uh, his wife, Erin, and this is a look there at Chris and Erin and their two kids. This is a photo she posted, and I just really, really liked that one. She posted, Chris's celebration of life will be held July 13th at the DMP hangar at Springfield Airport, 2503 North General Aviation Avenue, 65803. Visitation from 1 to 3 with a flyover and service beginning at 3 o'clock. In lieu of flowers, donations for the Reese and Taylor College funds can be received at the service. That'd be his two daughters. Greenlaw Funeral Home East is handling the arrangements. They even have a special hotel rate if you're going to be coming into the area. La Quinta Springfield Airport Plaza. Uh, you want the Chris Darnell rate. Hashtag live like Chris. Now, if you're not familiar with where that is, that's the old original Springfield Airport. So you take Kearney Street and go west until you have to turn so that you don't run into the sign and you'll veer off to the right and I'm sure it'll be real real obvious where it's at it's going to be one of those buildings uh, 2503 uh, will be a block north of Kearney Street and on the west side of the street uh, I used to be a Springfield police officer and dispatcher so I had to dust off my old uh, my old numbers there and that I still knew that. But 2503 North General Aviation Avenue, it's a huge area. There'll be plenty of, par obviously plenty of parking. Um, but that's going to be on Wednesday. I wish so much that I could be there, but I won't be able to because of work. Uh, I would love to be able to be there and uh, represent ORP TV and all of our fans and uh, to be there and uh, properly uh, tell them how much uh, that we that we care about them and that we hurt for them also and join them in their grieving. So if you'd like to be involved in that, you can check that out. Uh, it looks like they're inviting everyone. So uh, I expect there'll be a huge turnout. It'll be sunny and warm that day, uh, real warm. But again, celebration of life for Chris Darnell this Wednesday. 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock with a flyover and service beginning at 3. So if you're anywhere near uh, Kearney and West Bypass, I'm sure you'll see some pretty cool stuff. Uh, head on out there and check that out. That's going to do it for this day. Again, thank you so much to uh, Larry Hunt and uh, Al and Paul and the crew at Tulsa Raceway Park. We wrapped up. Uh, I think I rolled out of there about 3.45 this morning and drove... Uh, drove home from Tulsa and got to bed and slept most of the most of the day so I can be ready to go back to work tomorrow. So we thank you so much for joining us. Now if you have any comments, questions, or anything you'd like to talk to us about, you can shoot me an email at orptvmedia at gmail.com or you can even give me a text. Text me at 417-872-9854. I got that chair sitting right there. Man, I'm going to get Larry Hunt's big old, 
big old sexy butt in that chair right there. We're going to get Larry Hunt in here and we're going to talk about some things. And anybody else, if you're a racer, if you're a fan, if you're something, you'd like to join us, man, let's make that happen. This is fun. This is all about you guys. I'm certainly ain't making no money at this. So uh, this is about making it fun for you all. If you'd like to come join us, let's make that happen. We'll see you back here Wednesday night. We'll be telling you about the weekend race lineup. We'll be telling you about birthdays and about the weather and whatever other news stories comes up between now and then. I thank you guys so much for letting me be here and uh, talk to you. Love you all. We'll see you Wednesday night. For ORP TV, I'm Stag. Mm -hmm.